I strongly suggest you start learning all bone features associated with the name of the bone. For example, you learned supraorbital foramen of the frontal bone. And then later on in the semester, when you're asked which bone has the supraorbital foramen, that will be an extremely easy question to answer. But now, if we start studying just supraorbital foramen, and right now you know it belongs to the frontal bone, but don't forget we are covering several bone features for several bones. So it might get a little confusing which bone has that specific bone feature when you know so many of them. So make that a habit, and I promise you, your life will be much easier later on. For example, let me just show you a quick example. Here we have an elongated hole, and an elongated hole is a fissure. This elongated hole is called superior orbital fissure of the sphenoid bone. So the sphenoid bone has the superior orbital fissure, and the frontal bone has the supraorbital foramen. I can assure you, if you have a question asking the bone that has a bone feature, and that is a multiple choice question, you will have the names of the bones that are right next to that bone feature. So make your life easy later by learning bone features associated with the name of the bone since now, okay? Thank you.